What's going on, everybody? Happy Wednesday. Happy Hump Day. Almost through to that weekend. But today, we're going to cover social media tweets. Well, actually, just a tweet. In the age of social media, no matter what platform it is, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, etc., we get these small messages, and if you know Twitter, you can only put so many characters in with your tweet going out there. And it's got a lot of people talking about this because we're still in the dark with exactly Fanatic's distribution plan with how everything's going to be run. When are they going to, you know, stop the chain going to all these distribution units of Topps products? Where's Panini stand? Is Panini selling out to Fanatic's too? I mean, a lot of rumors out there on this, but let's talk about this today. So this here says... So excited to announce we've signed an exclusive deal with Fanatics and will only be selling their sports products moving forward. We are honored and humble. I saw this. Uh, I know I got hit with a bunch of messages on this. It's uh, Celebrity Card Breaks. Never heard of them before, but then again, I don't do a lot of breaking, and I'm just used to the old guys out there that have been around prices since like 2012, 13, 14, stuff like that. I don't really follow a lot of the newer guys, and... It's, not, it's only by choice just because I don't really get into it that much. So I started looking and I'm like, huh, this is different here. It says the Cole Anthony, Blaze J, which is Blaze Jordan. I was like, this is kind of different. And it kind of leaves a lot to the imagination because you're using the card breaks up there. So a breaker signing an exclusive deal with Fanatics. It has a lot of people talking. This doesn't really go into much explanation onto it. You know, an exclusive deal where they'll only be selling their sports products. I'm not too sure if that's talking about their licensed apparel. A lot of people took it as it's going to be their licensed sports cards out there. I have no idea onto it. There was not much more put out onto it. I'm not too sure if anybody else out there has any information onto it. I did a little bit of digging onto this. <coughs> So Instagram up in here, and it talks about Blaze Jordan, Cole Anthony on here, and stuff like that. Looks like there's five guys uh, that kind of all made their own breaking community up. And you start going down through here, and somewhere down here I saw Blaze Jordan because it threw me off guard. You know, just talking about them, you know, having celebrities do breaks out there, which, you know, is a different concept. It really is. I mean, these guys might have been into cards when they were younger i'm not too sure offhand i like i said not really following too much of uh, any of their careers out there i mean cole anthony plays in the nba blaze jordan one of the top draft picks uh was about two years ago now so i mean i think he's still in like uh, probably your single or double a right now correct me if i'm wrong like i said I'm not really following it <clears throat> so they do have a youtube channel only 62 subscribers. I'm not saying go out and subscribe to them or anything like that. But I just started looking and, you know, it's them. It's not a whole lot of videos and stuff, but they're out there breaking cards. So, you know, it's kind of good to see this stuff. Um, younger athletes getting involved into it, uh, into the card market and everything. If you're into it as an investor, right, you're like, hey, that's more money coming in. You know, bigger people, bigger wallets type deal. For the collectors, you're like, Okay, you know, you could be on the fence either way, really, with it. But just really threw me off because there was not much more said on this. I'm not, like I said, I'm not too sure. Because that when it says Fanatics officially licensed everything, are they talking here sports products as in cards? Are they talking memorabilia? Are they talking about, you know, clothing line? Uh, but I don't see them really on their videos here. You know, it's all about the cards and stuff when I'm looking at here. But definitely something to think about because if this is a like a breaker deal with them, you know, where does that leave guys who are not athletes out there have been around for a long time? You know, like real breaks. You know, they start off with their into a Facebook group, grew hugely onto it, big community with them out there. I mean, there, there's a ton of uh, big breakers out there. Been a long time. I mean. Does that mean the Backyard Breaks is going to be, you know, one of the breakers for Fanatics out there? I know a lot of people will be like, <laughs> have a lot of varied opinions on that one. 
But I, you know, it just made me think about it with everybody's hitting me with uh, messages onto this, and I, I don't know. I mean, there's not much more out there at all. Um, I did go on the fanatics thing here, and I was just trying to, you know, peg through it and stuff. I mean, they do a lot of posts every day. But I, I'm just not seeing any kind of announcements there onto it, so no idea offhand. But like I said, with the with a tweet being so vague, it's really hard to know exactly what it is. Maybe I missed it onto here or whatever it may be. We'll take a look at it if it pulls up. Try it again. No. Yeah, for some reason, uh, Instagram has been, like, funky like that for me today. So, like I said, if you guys are able to pull into this stuff, like I said, I can't get to open up this here to show what it is. Maybe you have to follow them or something like that to see their post. I don't follow a whole lot of people on this stuff. So, kind of interesting. No. <clears throat> you know, like I said, if this is for sports cards, what's it mean for the rest of the breakers? You know, exactly, Breakers always wanted that allocation because it was the cheaper part of the product before the release of the MSRP or the inflated price. Is there going to be cutbacks for these guys to continue with their businesses now? A lot of questions, a lot of questions out there, a lot of talk. Again, if I find anything else out about it, if this is in regard to sports cards, if it's, you know, autographed memorabilia, could it be their clothing line, whatever it may be, I'll be sure to do a follow-up on to it. Um, if you guys see anything, let me know. It's quite quite interesting. Like I said, it's been buzzing now uh, all day. I don't, I don't remember when the original tweet came out. Let me go back one here. I think it was really recent. Yeah, as of yesterday. So, I guess we'll find out more as uh, stuff gets unraveled here in the future, everybody. Just not curious if anybody else seen this or anybody else has any information on to it. Alright, everybody, take care of a good one. See you guys next video.